guys today I am going to discuss the how to add fraction and mixed numbers so our topic is adding fractions and mixed numbers so what is fraction and what is mixed numbers okay fraction is a part of a whole parte lang siya ng buo okay so it has a numerator and denominator numerator is yung number na nasa itaas denominator is yung number na nasa ibaba okay how about mixed numbers mixed numbers has a whole number and a fraction so iba siya sa fraction kasi si fraction meron lang numerator and denominator and it is part of a whole well si mixed numbers meron siyang fraction meron din siyang whole number Okay, so ngayon, paano natin i-add si mixed number at si fraction? Okay, if their denominator is the same, kung pareho ang kanilang denominator, yung number na nasa iba pa, pareho sila. So, paano natin i-add? Okay, listen carefully. Example, 3 and 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. So, yung nasa itaas, yung 3 and 1 over 5 is the mixed number. Add natin kay 3 over 5 na nasa iba ba, which is the fraction. Okay. Okay, tingnan natin yung denominator nila. Yung nasa iba ba, yung 5. Diba? Pareho silang 5 ang denominator sa kanilang fraction. Okay. And then, sa, sa mixed number, yung kanyang numerator is 1. And sa, sa fraction, nasa iba ba, ang kanyang numerator is 3. So, si fraction, walang whole number. Si mixed number, merong whole number na 3. Okay. So, this time, pwede na natin silang i-add. Because they have the same denominator, which is 5. Okay. So, first... Just bring down the whole number 3. Kasi si fraction walang whole number. Si mixed number lang. So, bring down 3. Okay, nandito si 3. Okay, bring down 3. And then, add the numerator. Okay, so sa itaas, si numerator niya ay si 1. Sa iba ba naman, numerator niya ay si 3. So, 1 plus 3 is 4. And then, copy the denominator, which is 5. Okay. Now, the answer is 3 and 4 over 5. Kuha. Okay. Madali lang, di ba? Basta makinig, madali lang. Okay. Another example. 2 and 1 over 4 plus 2 over 5. Four, so mixed number plus fraction. Okay, unang gagawin is bring down the whole number, which is two. Nasa iba ba na si two? And then add the numerator. The numerator is one and two. Okay, so one plus two is three. And then the denominator is four. Ito si four. Ito din si four. So copy the denominator. Hindi natin i-add si denominator, ha? Si numerator lang. So, copy the denominator. So, the answer now is 2 and 3 over 4. Hindi na natin simplify. Hindi na natin gagawing lowest term kasi naka-lowest term na siya. Okay. So, the answer again is 2 and 3 over 4. What if the given number does not or They don't have the same denominator. Hindi makapareho ang denominator. Halimbawa, okay, nandito yung example natin. 3 and 4 over 5 plus 1 over 2. Paano natin sila i-plus or i-add? Hindi naman sila makapareho ng denominator. So, ang gagawin natin is find the LCD. 
the least common denominator. Paano natin hahanapin yung LCD nila? Isusulat natin yung LCM ng bawat denominator. LCM yung least common multiple. Okay, di ba? Napag-aralan na natin kung paano kumuha ng least common multiple. So, si denominator 5 at si denominator 2, hahanapin natin ang LCM nila. Okay, sulat natin. Fa sa 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. Kay 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, and so on. Okay, now, ano ang LCM nila? Diba 10? So, si 10, yung LCD nila. Least common denominator. So, ngayon, dahil meron na tayong LCD, which is 10, kopyahin natin si whole number 3. Nasa itaas. And then, kopyahin din natin yung LCD na 10 over 10. Sa iba ba din? Over 10. Pagkatapos, si 10, yung nasa itaas na 10, denominator 10, is i-divide natin kay denominator 5. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Multiply that natin yung answer na 2 kay numerator na si 4. So, 2 times 4 is 8. Nandito si 8. Okay. Next, 10 divided by 2 is 5 times numerator 1 is 5 ok, so nandito si 5 nandito rin si denominator 10 denominator 10 ok, now this time we can now add the mixed number and the fraction because they have already this uh, the same denominator which is 10 ok, so bring down 3 And then, 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. Then, copy the denominator, 10 and 10. Copy the 10. So, the answer is 3 and 13 over 10. Ngayon, hindi pa yan ang sagot kasi dapat ang fraction, ang numerator is maliit lang kay denominator. Maliit lang yung nasa itaas na number kaysa nasa iba pa. Eh, si 13, malaki kay 10. ba? Diba? So, dapat isimplify natin. So, copy the whole number 3 plus si 13, divide natin kay 10. Okay. Sa 13, ilan ang 10? ba diba 1? So, plus 1. Ilan naman ang sobra sa 13? Kung i-divide sa 10, di ba sa 2, 3? So, we have 3. Over, copy the denominator, 10. Now, this time, we are going to add the whole number. 3 whole number plus 1 whole number equals 4. And then, copy the fraction, 3 over 10. So, the answer is 4 and 3 over 10. This is now the simplified answer or the lowest term of the answer. Last example para magintindihan ng mabuti. Okay, we have here 5 and 1 half or 1 over 2 plus 2 over 5. Hindi pa rin sila magkapareho ang denominator. So, pupunin natin yung LCD. Ang LCD dito at 5 is 10. Okay, pagkatapos, i-divide natin si denominator 10 kay denominator 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Times numerator 1 is 5. So, nandito si 5. Okay, copy the whole number 5, ha? Okay, next is, sa iba ba naman tayo, 10 divided by 5 is 2 times numerator 2 is 4. Nandito si 4. Now, it's time to add. Kasi, magkapareho na ang kanilang denominator. Bring down the whole number 5 and then add the numerator. 5 plus 4 is 9. 
Copy the denominator. 10 over 10. Ngayon, maliit lang si 9 kay 10. Maliit lang si numerator kay denominator. So, this is proper fraction. Okay. So, now, hindi, wala na number na pwedeng i-divide ni 9 at saka ni 10. So, hindi na sila pwedeng i-simplify or i-lowest term. So, now, the answer is 5 and 9, 10. Okay, klaro? Do you understand now, grade 5? Okay, I hope you understand the lesson well. Okay, so bye for now. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.